the roster itself is not that bad. They just need more depth. They have quality. But it all starts from the coach and his philosophy. Um, so far in Israeli media, it was reported that basically uh, Chavin and Trinkieri are the top targets. Of that these Maccabi. are very good targets. These are very good targets. The problem is that if they will be actually available because yes. uh, Chavi Pascal, he has a long-term contract with Zenit. The thing is that we are not sure if Russian teams will be back to EuroLeague. Probably not. But at least from what I was hearing, that Zenit were ready to bring incredible, impossible money just to keep Xavi because you never know what will go, what will happen in one year. And to have uh, Xavi in your team working uh, for further fourth season already and, uh, you know, keeping on, on track with this great coach, it's the best thing you can do. And if it takes you to uh, put not 1.5, but maybe 2.5 or 3 millions uh, per year, that probably will even make, you know, Chave consider if I should leave or not. So that's still uh, unclear if he will be the free agent because he's under the contract. Mm -hmm. Then we have Trinkieri. Trinkieri is on, on a contract. Uh, on He has a contract for the next year with Bayern too. And I thought that Bayern is a team which couldn't do anything with some big clubs coming and buy, um, paying a buyout and just getting their best pieces out. But from the interview, I was a bit surprised how Marco Pesic was convinced that there's no way, or at least he said that there's no way they will let Trinkieri go because this is the investment they made. The contract was signed and we're doing everything in their power to make uh, Trinkieri feel comfortable. And, you know, they will help him to, let's say, increase his uh, stock market for the uh, year when his contract will be expiring. And from, from Pish's side there, I understand. I mean, you can pay, you can pay Bayern 1 million euro buyout. What you will do with that buyout? If Trinkieri is out, Chavi is not available. So what? You will have to uh, sign, let's say, less talented coach. And if he will repeat the success, Hell no, probably no, especially with this coaching market. It's 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 really tough, and that's what actually he mentioned about uh, Malcolm Delaney when he was playing for Bayern in season two thousand thirteen and fourteen. I think Houston Rockets approached Bayern in like March, and they put one million euro buyout for Bayern just to get them free. They said no. They increased the buyout. They still uh, didn't let him go because the transfer deadline was passed and they said that, hey, listen, the lane is out. We're not winning the German championship. And even with that kind of money, what, what yeah. we will do? So This is smart. So, you know, we have these questions about Trinkieri, about Xavi, and if not them, who else is on the market? I don't know. It's tough. Well, then, but the thing then is, you need to be creative. But you cannot stay with this...